step back from doing sprints. Uh, I know only a few of you have watched my latest uh, running shoe videos, but it has really been a passion of mine for really my whole life. So I figured I'd share with you guys. Um, I know a couple of guys are pretty popular. Look, my face is so wet and greasy. But I have come to some big conclusions uh, as of today. And uh, it has to do with the Nike React and the uh, Saucony uh, Freedoms. Uh, sadly, this is this is no longer one of my favorite shoes. And I'll tell you. Uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. It's because specifically of this. The Nike React, for whatever reason, I, I, I mean, I don't know what it is. It's something about that it's so cushioned and it does everything well. If you wanna run in it, long distance, A plus. If you wanna sprint in them, A plus. They, they don't have a single drawback that I can think of other than the tread, which, you know, I can't say bothers me yet. Um, I mean, say, uh, you know, give it some time, maybe it'll get too slick and I'll wipe out, who knows? But I can't really fault the shoe for that at the moment. Um, I know the, the, the Odyssey React has changed and added rubber uh, in just larger sections in the front and what looks to be either the same size as this or maybe even a tad bigger. But uh, I still think that this is overall the better shoe because of the flying it. I love, I love the flying it upper. But here, here, here's basically what I did. I was watching a bunch of shoe videos and uh, I, uh, some guy was reviewing the React and I'm like you know what I really feel like going for a run in these Reacts and testing them out and the way that my body works right now is very strange I cannot run long distance if my life depended on it however I can sprint rest sprint rest and repeat probably non-stop and I don't know why ever since I've been working my legs out I'm not getting that crazy uh, strain tightening in my quads so I was I was sprinting and it was like no problem and it's not a very long sprint but I sprint like as fast as I can possibly go to test the shoe and then I move on to the other shoe and as you can tell see I'm not out of breath like I was in the previous video where I was actually trying to run like a lap and and, and it's something to do with the impact when I land it just, it, it takes um, a lot of the impact of regular jogging. Um, it's doing something to my calves and ar around the top of the foot that just literally never gets worked out. So when you're sprinting, you're sort of, you're going so fast that the momentum is basically only on your quads. And that's fine, because I've been working those out. So. It, let me get back to on topic though. So, previously I've been saying these are just awesome and you know, I like it better than Boost and, and this and that. But I wore Boost all day today and I started warming back up to them. Um, I was just walking around and you know, cloud light comfort and they're just, I'm kind of going back to the boost. Uh, there's just, it, I, I like the firmness of the Everrun, I think. However, there's not enough of it, um, especially in the front area of this shoe. If you can see, there's, there, there's just not much. So if I'm like actually trying to push my foot down, it, it sort of doesn't feel like much. Whereas this, much larger front cushion on both sides, 
and we don't even have to talk about the rest of the cushion. It's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, thick, but soft, and responsive. It, it, it's just, it, this is the perfect shoe. This beats Boost. Um, it is slightly firmer than Boost while you're walking. And and I and, and it, the thing is, is this doesn't bottom out like Boost does when you're running. That's why I think this is the perfect shoe. Um, now we go back to the Saucony XO3, which I did as the last test because I was really con curious about how this felt compared to the Freedoms. And sadly, I have to say. I like these better than the Freedoms now. Because it does contain a layer of Ever Run, but then it has the thicker cushioning that's not very plush. It's nothing, nothing like React. It, it seems like it's just a standard, pretty heavily compression molded EVA cushioning. Nothing special, but it's flexible. I just, I just enjoyed running in this shoe. Uh, more than even the uh, uh, even the Freedom ISOs today, which is strange. I, I the problem is starting off. Okay, if you're gonna go buy a shoe and you have multiple shoes in your closet, let's just say you're a shoe head, whatever you want to call it, and you get one of these reacts. I'm, I'm saying right now, you're gonna you're gonna start regretting some of your previous purchases if you use them a lot. If you're just a shoe collector, don't worry about it. I'm a guy who I like to switch my shoes up just for the heck of it. Um, you know, maybe not necessarily for like, I'm all angled now because I'm, I'm wearing my one shoe. But not necessarily for color coordinating or anything like that, but just, just one day I'll just feel like taking these out, you know, just, just for the heck of it. They're, uh, and I drive a stick, so some of these shoes are better for driving stick. These are not good for driving stick because they're just so tiny. Um, these are good for driving stick because they're big. Uh, the boosts are pretty good for driving stick, except for the the, the, the boost gets in a little way of feeling the pedals. Um, and and um, I don't mind driving stick with these. So um, and 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 I I love driving stick with the Air Max 270s because they're huge. So like I, I can almost literally t uh, heel toe even though I have uh, you know little feet eight eight and a half pretty much all these shoes um, are eight and a half. So con in conclusion, I don't want to make this you know too long, guys. Um, I went to the gym earlier today, got a tired spell. Literally was falling asleep while watching a show. Went and got a little snack, got like a second win, and like I said, I just for the heck of it decided to take out these these fly knits because I just haven't really felt like I gave them a, a true test yet. Um, the, tru the, the, the truth of the matter is that they're just probably one of the best shoes I've ever had in my life. Now the, now the 270s, I didn't even bother taking those out because I already know that they're just awkward period and everything. You can sprint in them, sure, but they're just, they're such a casual shoe. And um, I know people love these, and I even gave these a good rating on Saucony.com. I don't know if they actually published it, but I kind of regret doing it so now because, I mean, they said they didn't like that I mentioned other brands in my first review and they took it down. But yet, other people mentioned other shoes. So I was absolutely baffled on like why, what did I say that was so wrong compared to what they said? made no sense to me um i really look at this as a casual shoe now i don't look i'm not gonna I'm, there's, there's no reason the the reacts i mean you can see the cushioning here's where the uh cushioning starts right here the reacts just blow these out of the water and like i was a Saucony fan like just now they don't i couldn't say that they blow these out of the water um in running, I, I actually believe these these are pretty good running shoes. If you're gonna run like a, a longer distance, these are gonna hold up because they have the, the firmer cushion on the outside 
and then they have, they have the ever run on the inside. Now if it had even more ever run, but still as thick, it would probably really be a good contender. And I think socketing means to, uh, when they come out with a new Triumph, I don't know when that's going to be, that thing needs to be full ever run and thick ever run. Not flimsy ever run like this. People that are Sockney fans don't know what they're missing. <laughs> I don't care what the shoe costs. This was 160, this is 180. The, di the difference makes up for it. it. It it blows it out of the water. And that's my video, guys. I have uh, come to that final conclusion. It's, uh, and I mean, I actually was a little depressed. And, I mean, I really was like, I was totally in love with these when I wore only these. If I wore these for like a week straight, I start to love them. So I started wearing these. Then I'm like, you know what? All of a sudden my heel kind of hurts. Like, put these on. I wore these first, but like I said, my no problems with anything. Just full cushion, felt great. Switched to these because I just had to, I had to know. All of a sudden these felt dead. Very depressing. Uh, if I could go back, and I, I didn't know about the Reacts. That's the problem. I did not know these existed. It was just all about this Air Max day. Air Max 270s, the big, the big shoe. I never even researched into looking at Nikes. No, I, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't, but I just didn't. If I had these first, never would have bought these. Never. There, no need. Um. I could actually probably sell these, clean these up a little bit. There, I, I barely wore them. I might try to sell these, believe it or not. I looked at the cushion, not the cushion. I looked at the tread. It's nearly 99% unworn. I looked at it with some reading glasses because my, my vision is terrible, like up close. Um, and it is what it is. Um, there's. There's a slight wear where the Sockney logo is back here, slightly. Um, I could wash the bottoms off, take some nice clear pictures, say, say, you know, I wore them a few times. They still smell new. So, I mean, that, that they can't be sold as brand new, but you know what? I think since they're limited, I don't know, uh, I'm not going to go into semantics, that is, it's not important. I'm just saying they're a limited run, I'm not going to, I might not wear these anymore, honestly. I might clean them up and let them sit in the original box, get that new smell, and uh, just, you know, say I tried them on a couple of times, did a couple of running video tests on them, and that's that, that's really the truth. I mean, if you wear these in a car, you're not really wearing them, you're not like, really wearing them out, you're not wearing the cushion out. Um, and if you have like shoe powder like I do, you're not going to get them all stinky. So they're not stinky. Never sell these, never. And I still like these actually because it's more cushioning. Just more is a little bit better in some, in some circumstances. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Go buy some Nike Reacts and you won't regret it. Peace.